G'day viewers, welcome to our first YouTube video. How you going people? We get an awful lot of people asking us what we've been up to, so we figured that YouTube's a way to do it. Now, for us to keep doing it, obviously it has to be successful. We don't know an awful lot about YouTube, but apparently what you've got to do is to subscribe, share, and like. So, if we get enough interest in this, we will keep on doing it. Keeps you updated on what we're doing and uh, gives us something to do when we're not filming. Um, it, it'll take us a little while to, to get used to doing this because generally when we're doing the TV show, there's just a film crew here that follow us around and uh, we just do what we normally do. But doing this is a little bit different, eh, Les? It is certainly different uh, doing stuff this way. So if, if it's successful, we'll keep on doing them, but that's up to you. So if you like it, like I say, you got to share it and subscribe. And the more people you can share it to, the better. So this is the start of a brand new year, Les, pretty much. It is. It's a, yeah, going to be a good year, hopefully. Bet better than last year. We only hope. We've had a lot of ups and downs this, this last season, you know, with... Um, We've tried doing some new things. We've got new people with us. We've got uh, Benny and Bogger Wallace and Sam. And Benny and Bogger Wallace have been working down at Dead Dog. And they're going really, really well. But obviously with extra people, uh, you've got to split it five ways in, instead of four. You know, because there's, there's young Sam gives us a hand and she's very good. Benny and Bogger are absolutely e excellent. They're very, very hard workers. You know, they, they can shift some bloody dirt, them boys. So, unfortunately, the opal down there has stopped. We haven't got anything at all for quite some time, eh? No, we're not, they're not uh, finding anything. And we're finding bugger all with the big gear. Um, we've, we've started a brand new hole down there, which you will see on this season, this coming season of uh, Opal Hunters. But it just hasn't gone as expected, to say the least. Um, so where we are at the moment, we've got about maybe three or four days of diesel left. If we don't find something in that three or four days, we're, we're pretty buggered. So that's just the way it goes. So that's opal mining for you. Um, we've been up to... We haven't been up to a great deal this year. Les has been away. He's been over uh, seeing his kids in Adelaide. How long were you over there for? Three or four weeks? Oh, uh, yeah. Three weeks over there. And uh, it has been awfully, awfully bloody hot out here. As a lot of you know that follow the, the Facebook page, me and Amanda went to Sydney to uh, celebrate Amanda's 50th birthday with the kids and the grandkids. Seeing the, the kids and the grandkids was, was bloody good. Um, they took us out to a few flash restaurants, Les. Oh, yeah? Did you have your tuxedo on? No, yeah, I had long sleeves on. Oh, well, I suppose that's the start. Bloody oath. Well, I think in two of them I had long sleeves. Kids burned up about me not wearing sleeves, so I had to put them on. Oh, you was going to go in your workshop with them cut out? Yeah, and they wouldn't let me. Well, you probably got thrown out the restaurant anyway. Oh, well. But the, the first night we were there, we went to a place called Angus. I'm Angus. It was I'm a steakhouse. Angus. What's that? A bloody big bull, black bull, is it? No, oh, it's a steakhouse. And uh, it was good. I ordered kangaroo. Well, that's good for steakhouse. Steak, steak kangaroo. Well, it was the best kangaroo I've ever eaten. It was bloody sight better than the kangaroo you cook, I can tell you. Well, you know, when you only got hot coals to cook it on and no steel plate, well, it's got to be good. Nah, Big bird this... and shark only, doesn't matter, <laughs> cleans your teeth. Well, this was actually the best I've ever eaten, and it come on this bed of bloody, had some nice mashed potato, and this green stuff, even the green stuff was nice. Was oh, righto, yeah. Great green gravy sort of stuff, but it was bloody good tuck of that. So you mean to say they cooked that kangaroo better than you can cook it? Bloody earth they did. It was the best kangaroo I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good, good restaurant. That's was a, a good start, then. It was a really good restaurant. Um, I'm Angus. Highly recommend it. Good place. Yeah, Darling Harbour. Darling Harbour. Yeah, it was in Darling oh, okay. Harbour. That's where we stayed was in Darling Harbour, which is right in the guts of Sydney, Les. So. Is, that's, is that 
pretty close to the wharf there or whatever it is. Right on it, that's where it is. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it was good. We, we like I said, you know, some of the restaurants were good. There was one that wasn't that good, but I think the second night we were there, we went to this joint where they come along with this big steel bloody spike sort of thing with all this meat on it, and they slice a little bit off onto your plate and a little bit of salad and crap. But all right, that wasn't too bad. What was that called, Amanda? Brazes. Brazes, that's it. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> Were they very big pieces of meat, or didn't you need them? Nah, a they 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 had their knives pretty bloody sharp. They didn't give yeah. you too much, but it was all you can eat. But um, all different types of meat. Most of it was sort of cheap cuts, um, cooked well, and it wasn't too bad. I uh, I enjoyed it. Probably wouldn't go there again, but it was it was all right. But the third night, my Jesus, you got no idea what the third night was like, Les. Can't you remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember too well. I wish I could forget it. It was horrible. Mm. What was it called, Manda, that place we went into? Uh, Tempanyaki. Tempanyaki. That's Japanese, isn't it? I don't know or what Chinese? it was, You walk into this place, like we're in Sydney. It's the middle of summer in Sydney, so it's as odd as buggery. You walk into this restaurant, there's people everywhere and they're jammed in. And you sort of sit around this big barbecue plate. Yeah. So it's as odd as buggery. Hotter than a shearer's armpit, you know, and you're, you're sort of sitting there. This wombat comes out and he's got a couple of paint scrapers and some tongs and crap and this big tray of tucker. Anyway, he's, he gets the bloody hot plate even hotter than it was before. Yeah. So the sweat's dripping off me. And then this goose tips a bloody cup full of bloody cooking oil on this barbecue plate. Flames what? go up into the bloody air. Is it that... splashes all over my shirt with yeah. freaking hot oil. Did Ruins it... my brand new shirt. Did it burn holes in it? Didn't burn holes in it, but it ruined it anyway because yeah. it had oil spots all over the bloody thing. Well, was he cleaning the plate and getting it ready or what? Or... No, it was, I don't know what he was freaking doing. He, he was just some bloody wombat, I reckon. <laughs> it gets worse, it gets mm. worse. So then he's, he's got this stuff on this bloody barbecue plate, right? And everyone's sitting around it. He's got a prawn. And he's, he's banging these bloody things around and twirling them in the air. Next minute he gets a paint scraper under the prawn. He flicks it at me. I was going to job the bastard. I had to duck like that. Yeah, otherwise well. I'd have been hit in the mouth with a friggin' prawn. <laughs> and that's what they do. I was watching them. You know, they're flicking bloody rice at the shielder over, over the table behind us. Yeah. He, he flicked a big bloody plate full of rice at her. Rice all over, hanging her out of her hair, and they're all whooping and cheering and carrying on. And they no. charge you, get this, they charge you $75 to that, throw food at you. Nah. So I bird up about that's, that. That's, that's just not the right thing to do. No, I know. Well, imagine, you've got to scrape it up off the floor and eat yeah. it. Imagine yeah. paying for some wombat to chuck food at you. Yeah. So that was probably the worst experience of Sydney. Um, oh, we did. We took the, the grandkids and that to the uh, aquarium, which was bloody excellent. Saw yeah. some big fish. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. Gone. Didn't see any Murray Cod or Yellow Belly, but geez, there was yeah. some big fish in there. And uh, went to the Maritime Museum. That would have been interesting. It was interesting, yeah. actually. We went on yeah. a submarine. Oh, right, eh? They, them poor buggers didn't get much room. There's not much room in a bloody old tub. This is tin can. You'd be surprised how how little area they got to sleep in. You know, yeah. like I wouldn't have been able to stretch out on it. It was tiny, and the old old mate, mate tour guide there he was telling us that the captain, the last captain, was six foot five. I don't you know, know how he, he survived. He probably slept with his bloody knees up around his ears somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and then ah, oh, we went and saw a few uh, the opal shops and. Mm. And, it, and yeah, so there was some there were some very good parts of Sydney. We enjoyed it, especially seeing the kids and the grandkids. They were excellent. Our brand new grandkid, Lacey, she's a little sweetie. Mm -hmm. So that part of it was all pretty that good. That would have been the best part of it. But I got it. Yeah, I got to tell you, the best part of it was coming home. Well, yeah. Well, there's always too many people in the city anyway. Oh, I don't know. You where can't they get, do it. Just got to get away from them. They drive you crazy. I don't know how they do it, mate. Them poor buggers living down there, shoulder yeah. to shoulder. You walk down the street, you say good day to them, they don't say anything back to no, you. No, they hang their head and will look yeah. in the window the opposite way and yeah. So yeah, pretty happy to get back. Um, unfortunately, you know, we've 
things are a bit tough out here for us at the moment. Yes, it is that way. So the the boys at Benny and and uh, Bogger and Sam they were getting a little bit opal down there at Dead Dog, and they were getting some nice opal. Um, unfortunately, that has run out. Uh, they're still trying pretty hard to find it and uh, them fellas can shift some dirt they're, they're serious miners them boys so yeah, hopefully they come up with something but they're a lot younger than we are too so they're happier on the bloody jackhammer yeah well that's that's yeah. true too yeah. and unfortunately the consequence of having more people is that you know instead of splitting it two ways with me and the old fella you've got to split it five ways so yeah. You're not getting as much money when you're not finding opal. And at the moment, me and Les, we're just not finding any opal at all where we are with the big gear. It's it's like a bloody drought down there. We're expecting to do pretty good, but we found a little bit of trace and that's about it. So we've got probably three or four days worth of diesel left. Once that diesel's gone, we're buggered. So you know this is our only source of income if we don't find opal we we don't eat it's as simple as that um, so we got to try and make another plan and some time ago an old bloke was telling us about, about he was getting on to a bit of opal down the bottom there it was in the late 70s early 80s and we sort of found the place and there's a couple of old shafts on it that um, are pretty pretty dangerous the surface is all collapsing in on them and everything so we decided to sort of put a shaft down where we thought the solid ground was we we're expecting to put that shaft down to about 60 foot i think we got to about 20 foot and we dropped into a drive so pulled the drill out and uh it sort of just sat there for quite some time we did stick collars in it and it's been sitting there for months so Yesterday we went down there and dropped some ladders down and today we'll go down and actually get underground and just see what's down there. And if if it's safe enough and if it looks all right, our option is when we run out of, out of diesel with our big gear, we can move a, uh, a, a hoist over there and a couple of jackhammers and we have to get back on the hammers, Les. Yeah, don't be not looking forward to that, but if we've got to do that, you know, we've got to do that. Yeah, well, that's the way it is with us, yeah. you know, if if we don't find Opal, then we got no money, and we got very, very little left. We got enough for a few days diesel, and maybe a week or two of Tucker, so things are a bit grim for us, so hopefully if um, if that pans out and it looks all right down, down there, you know, you, you, you don't need much money, you only need a little generator just to run your jackhammers, and, uh, you know, instead of using... Or oh, 90 litres of diesel a day, we'd probably use five or six litres of diesel a day. So it extends our digging time. So that's sort of the plan at the moment, and hopefully it looks all right down there. If it doesn't look all right down there, well, I'm bugged if I know what we're going to do, Les, but no, we're going to have to come up with a different it's plan. It's going to be tough if it, if it doesn't look too good, you know. I mean, depending on what the roof is like and that, but we'll have to have a good look around and... Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of unknown questions down there, mate. There is. We know nothing. Well, we know that the old bloke found opal down there. Um, we don't know how big the the uh, existing drives are down there or what shape they're in. So. Well, that's it. They might only be de belly drives, and if that we, if they are, we've got a chance of pulling some good stuff if we take it all out a bit deeper and such. So all you can do is have a crack, mate, and I reckon that's yes. our, uh, our A plan. Yep, well, it's the only plan we got is A plan. Can't go to B plan because we got none. Yeah, it's going to be bloody interesting, but that's mm. the way it is. You know, that's open mining out here. That's it. Well, old fella, we're not going to find out sitting here, are we? No, we better go and do something, I think. All right, let's well, do it. Okay, okay. All right, mans. Right. We'll see you later, mate.
here we are at it again, eh? So we just got swinging ladders here. Yeah. And they're not pinned to the wall or anything like that. They're just dangling there, so. Eight climbing swinging ladders. All right, I'll go down and have a look. If it's safe enough, Les, I'll yell out to you, all right? Right on. <coughs> oh. A bit cooler down here anyway, Les. Well, that's a good start. Hi, Les. Liz, yep, come, come on down. Coming. <sighs> yeah, not bad down here either, is it? A bit cooler. Yeah. Not much bloody room, but. No. Tell you what, we only just dropped into a drive. Shit, yeah. So it's busted out here where it dropped through. Yeah. There's a bit of dodgy roof just here. Yeah, that needs banging off. Well, that's not really the roof there. So, yeah. Well, the ground doesn't look too bad down here, really. Um, air is very stale, and it's obviously been mined a long time ago by the way the walls are. That's right. Uh, I'd say we've, pretty. at some time over the years, there's been someone down here having a bit of a scratch, maybe over there. I mean, it looks like there's been a fair bit of water down this side here. Mm -hmm. So what do you reckon? Go through and have an explore over here, see what's over here? Yeah. No, no. Go and have a look. Go and have a look, eh? Oh. Well, there's been some water down here, Les. Oh, right, eh? Yeah. Fair bit of it, too. You right? Coming through. Okay. Shit, yeah. Have, have a look at down here, eh? Well, there's a little bit boggy down here, Les. Yeah, we got water. Draw it through, eh? You come over here. Oh, yeah. Well, you're down to your friggin' ankle, mate. Yeah, it's a lot of bloody water in here, right? Hmm. Well, that bug is at end of the the mine up. It does. Even when it bloody dries out, that's going to be friggin' dangerous, isn't it? Yep. Look, there's a lump of bloody potch there. Look, right in front of you. Yeah, a bit of wax there. Look at this, look. Now, there's potch down here, Les, if nothing yeah, else. Well, that's a good start. But she's... She's friggin' muddy. There's pots of people, better stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll try the other side. It might not be so wet. Oh, wheelbarrow is. Same better days. Ooh, we can stand up. Oh, yeah. Boy, there's some water come down here, all right. You're not wrong. So we did drop a ladder down this other shaft just for an emergency if something happened down here. We didn't know that those two were joined. <coughs> there's been a very big collapse here. See where the roof's fallen out? That could it be is dangerous bit. ground. That could be a little bit to watch. That's a big collapse, isn't it? It is. Be a, bit um, of, be a bit of rock come out of that one. Yeah. I'll, I'll go I'll go through and have a look. If it's safe enough, I'll yell out to you, all right? Yep, not a problem. 
Oh, look at the size of this fella. Got any water over there? A little bit, but nothing like over that side. See what's happened here? The roof level used to be here. Come across here. And then there's been a big bed and plane here and it's just dropped this whole thing. Size of this rock here, it's the size of a bloody fridge. Ground looks very, very dangerous, but that's because of the age of the mine probably. You know, this mine, like I said, it was dug from what we've heard from the old bloke in the late seventies, eighties. So she'd been sitting here an awful long time. From here on, we've just got to be very, very careful um, because it does not look all that good. I'll go up here a little bit further. Nice slip coming down there, Les. Right. You can see there has been water through here. Is it and very wet or not? Hey? Is it very wet? Oh, nowhere near the others like it is the other side. All right. That's that other shaft. She's pretty much collapsed right to the roof. What's that there? Frog, is it? Yeah. It's right in the middle of his height. Big old bloody frog sitting here, Les. All right, old greenie? Nah. Well, there you go. We'll have to call this frog Ola. Yeah. Hey, look at this roof. It's bad. Don't go banging anything, Les. Oh. I don't think we'll have a jackhammer over here. It doesn't look... Uh, a bit of vibration, we'll get some of it down. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's obviously been a collapse in this shaft somewhere. Yeah. What's around here? Uh, not much. See how flat this roof is up in this section here? Yeah. I tell you what, other than being dangerous, this ground does look nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. Don't go banging things. We'll end up buried here. This is a good, good level roof. Oh, looks like they had something up in here, look. Oh yeah. Now you wait here. You've been built out a bit. in the wall there. Righto, yep, yeah, very thick. Oh, uh, thick enough. That looks really good up in there, but it's very, very dangerous. That roof's hollow yeah, as. Hollow as, yeah, righto. Might get round the other side. Mm -hmm. And we might be able to dig through from the other side to meet up with this. Yeah. That might be the go, Les. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Just be careful with that collapse. A nice slip coming through here too. You alright? Yep. What's that friggin' roof? End up again. That's it, it's not too hard on the back. <coughs> All right, let's get around that other side where we come down and have a look. Um, I reckon here 
right? Yep, we'll get in there. Right. Well, I like what I see, Les. Well, that's that's good over there in that spot. It is very dangerous because of its age. Yeah. I reckon if we take this roof out here. Yeah. Clean all this out and drop a hoist down here. Yep. If we went straight that direction. Yeah. I reckon we'd meet up to where that. Where that ballroom yeah. is. A bit. There's good pots and stuff in there. Yep. We could be lucky enough to. Jag hit, a bit. Hit, 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 jag a pocket or two. Just one little pocket would be nice. Some of it sometimes have a scratch over here too. Yeah. And that dirt looks nice as well. Yeah. But I think that's the direction we need to go. We'd probably need to do something about this roof, but... Yeah, we'll have to let all that drop. See, that looks like the roof there. So that's all got to come down there. So they haven't been right on the roof. No, they've missed the roof. And that'd be the same over there. Yeah. Like where I was crawling up. Yeah. I reckon the roof's that much higher. Yeah, well you got buddy 18 inches that you've got to drop out of there to come up to the roof there, I reckon. You reckon it'd be safe enough to have a bit of a jackhammer over there so we find any pots oh, or anything? Have a, have a bit of a look, yeah, I reckon. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to jackhammering and bloody rickshawing. And we've got no. an awful lot of dirt to move here before we can even start, Les. Well, that's right, yeah. So what we'd have to do is bring a hoist over, dig the floor out yep. for a sump for the hoist. Yep. And then just start getting her out of here. It's about all we can do, isn't it? A lot yes. of work. But if we run out of money and we can't mine that other spot, well, well, then this is an option, isn't it? It is an option, <coughs> something that we can look forward to. Now, I'm going to grab the jackhammer and just have a quick look over here. Yep. I don't like the look of that roof. I might even try and drop a bit of that out and see what happens. Yep. We've got a skeleton down here, but look at it too. Hey? Skeleton down there, but look at it too. Oh, shit, there is too. All right. Hmm. How the bloody hell does kangaroo end up down here? Yeah, well, that's it. And he's been down here a long bloody time too. He has, he's been here for a couple of days. Now if he fell down the shaft, you would reckon that the fall would have killed him, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd reckon. Well it couldn't have, because he's obviously hopped around here, which was a fair way away from where them old shafts are. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, come around this side if you want, and just throw it over there somewhere. Give me a bit of room, that's all. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Oh. Watch up in here, Liz. Yeah. See that? So we're definitely not on the roof. Oh, I don't know about that, Liz. Pretty rotten. There is a lot of like potch in it. There is a definite seam there, but Slip there, Les. Yes. Yeah, I don't know about that. God, look at it all up away. Yeah, that crunch. Big 
lump of potch up there, Les. Yeah. It's just not doing anything. But it looks good. Yes, well, I just got to say there's always got a good possibility. I'll tell you what I might do before we go up, Les. I might just see yeah. what this looks like when I drop yeah. this bit of roof when out, eh? drop that bit out, yeah. up in there Liz. Yeah. It's rotten as buggery. How much higher does it look? Well, it's hard to tell at the moment. That's the roof there, Liz. There's going to be a lot of... Even got a crack coming up here. Far up's that gonna run? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think the roof's gonna be up here. Yeah. This is just holler. What's happening is that this country down here is dangerous ground to start with. Oh yeah, it's not not safe. It's... Because this is like this is only a new shaft. We only put this in a few months ago, but all this ground here was last dug in the late seventies, early eighties. So yeah. it's had a long time to be exposed to the air. Mm -hmm. And just trying to find. Where the safe part of the roof is, is going to be a struggle right through here. But at the moment, she is pretty dangerous, Les. See, that's starting to run down again now. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a little bit hard to find a solid, a really good solid roof. Well, that's sandstone. Yeah. But it's a little bit rotten, probably just from the air, maybe. Yeah. But there's bloody bedding planes running through it everywhere. In here. Yeah. That might be. I'm not sure whether that's the roof. It sort of looks like it is. Yeah. But yeah. it's running. Yeah. And then you've got a big piece here. I don't know how far up that way it goes, but it's pretty bloody rotten. Um, I might just get you. Come over here behind me, Les. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to see what happens. 
when I push an ear, okay? Yeah, it just disappears. Look at that. Not liking the look of that a lot. Whoa. Yeah, it goes runs up in there. Look, I reckon this is a bit too dangerous, Les, the way it is. Yeah. We're going to end up with a big pile of dirt here and nowhere to go. So, yeah. if things don't work out over that other mine, like if we run out of money, we'll come here and do something anyway. But this is fairly dodgy. I don't want to go any further until we've got a bit more set up, okay? Yep, yeah. So, what if we go up? Or at least we know if we run out of money, we've got somewhere to go off. Other, what do you reckon? Find a little bit, yeah. <clears throat> All right. That'd be good. Well, I'll go up. Yep. And then you hook the jackhammer and that up. Yep. And we'll come up, all right? Yep. All right, I'll go first. Don't stand under the hole. It's unlikely to drop this friggin' battery on your scone. <laughs> <coughs> right oh. Just be careful. She's warm up here, Les. It is. It well, is. mate, that gives us an option, eh? Yeah. I reckon we'll go back down there. We'll work till we run out of money. Yep. Maybe as soon as we run out of money, if we don't find anything, we'll get that other hoist to grubby mix going. Yeah. Come. And bring it over here and set it up here. Set it up here. And, and it's just going to be an awful lot of work for us shoveling and doing that roof. Yeah. So you better start on a uh, course of wheat bix for brekkie of a morning, mate. Yeah, I know. Back bloody jackhammer and Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll get through it. We, yeah. have to, we have to, we haven't got no choice. Yeah, that's exactly that's, right, mate. That's about it. So. What do you reckon, mate? We might head down the road and do a bit of work down there. What do you think? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. All right, load up. Where are you, Nigel? What are you doing? Yes. Sure. All for the go. Okay. 